Hello folks, I'm Odin Spack, and welcome back to part 4 of Let's Replay Rad Gravity. Last time, we did a bunch of stuff. We finished the planet Vernia, activated our first CompuMind, fought our first boss. We were on the wrecked ship, uh, got the teleport beacon, and then we went to Odar, did a big puzzle there, and we got the green armor. But uh, now we're on the planet Utopia, and the people seem to want our help, so we need to uh, go see what's going on. So we're going to get scanned by this little sensor here, and go down and see what's going on. Kill the evil robots and free us. Only you can help us. Apparently only Rad Gravity can do anything here. So, this is maybe not so much a Utopia, right? You call this a Utopia? <laughs> All right, half of our peaceful planet has been taken over by evil robots. Our strongest warrior has returned from a final attempt to defeat them. If you help us and defeat the evil computer, you'll be rewarded. All right, so the teleport location for the other side of the planet is blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter. Um, so we're going to go to the other side of Utopia, so on a rare planet that has a second access point. But this isn't so much a midway or a checkpoint as it is just continuing the level. The first part was just story. So now we got the evil robots here. So we got these guys, and they'll show you that, oh, hey, they destroy each other, much like Siberia. Uh, so these enemies do defeat each other. Uh, these enemies here, you'll notice they have a shield. If you use their sword, you can actually hit them underneath. Uh, so remember how I said that a sword was pretty much useful for about 90, or about 5% of this game, maybe 1% of this game? Yeah, that's about it. They're just used to take out these robots underneath there. You can hit them with other stuff, too. Um, but not like on the ground like that. So we're gonna destroy this guy here, push him into the sensor, and we're gonna go into, guess what? You guessed it! An underground maze. <laughs> Most of this game. That's right. Uh, and because it's been so long, I really don't remember if we're supposed to go left or right at the beginning here. So this is either gonna be a very quick trip through Utopia, or this is gonna be the scenic route. It's feeling like it's the scenic route. Because I don't think we can uh, actually take out this enemy here. So I think we're actually supposed to go to the right first. Because for some reason, this shielded enemy, I don't think we can actually get him. No. The game's like, no, 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 you can't destroy that guy. I don't think so. So yeah, we went the wrong way. I think I knew I was going the wrong way, and I just kind of refused to believe it. But that's, that's fine. Like I said, this isn't... Th this playthrough... While informed, I know what I'm doing. I'm still, I still always get wrapped up uh, on this level. I don't know why. It just never sinks in. I think this is just kind of like the most forgettable level for me because it just looks like Siberia again, uh, the second part of it anyway. So it, it just looks like that again, and it's just a big maze. <laughs> so like, there's nothing really unique to it. I guess there's these robots where you can use the sword on them, I guess. I did not mean to jump through that elevator. I didn't even know you could do that, honestly. So, there you go. Now, I do know what I need to do here. I do remember this part. So, we want to, uh... We want to go up this elevator here, because... Remember how we couldn't get to the... That one elevator on the, uh, left there? Because that guy was in the way? Well, we need to actually ride this to get there. Oh, please don't hit me. I think it's going to. Oh, it didn't. It got stopped by this... I don't know, floating lift that shoots out bullets, I guess. Alright, now we do not want to jump down there, uh, because then we're not, we have to go all the way around again, so we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to go up here, and we're actually almost done with this level. Apparently, I did want to jump, I really? I guess I do want to jump down there. Okay, I was thinking that was the dead end, but... I think this is actually a different screen than we've been in already. So, yeah, this isn't the same one. My bad. <laughs> like I said, I just get tripped up here. And uh, like I also said, I never knew how to deal with these guys before when I was younger with the sword. So, uh, thank goodness I, I found a way uh, to deal with them because otherwise this would be a pain. All right, and now uh, we're going to go through here. So this is an energy pellet here, but if we miss this jump, we got to do this whole level again. So I'm going to just put this teleport beacon here. So in case I somehow screw up that jump, which I didn't, um, then uh, I could just warp back and we'd be fine. Uh, 
Uh, so, the teleport beacon, pretty useful. Um, and we don't need it anymore else in this level, so I was okay to use it. We haven't really had to use that yet. Uh, it'll, it will come in handy, I promise. But anyway, we got this boss here. Uh, I don't know what he's holding, like this big mirror shield, I guess. If you shoot it, uh, it shoots this projectile at you. Uh, this warrior here tries to basically shoot at him to no avail. So what you got to do here is we actually use the energy bombs. You'll notice they stop moving. And uh, they'll pick up the bombs, and they'll actually throw behind. I don't know why they didn't just go behind and shoot at him to begin with. So this is another puzzle boss, uh, not very complicated once you know what to do, uh, but I guess this can be kind of difficult to figure out. So there we go, what was that, five energy bombs? If we had the Saurian crystals, I think that would take more. But we're good. So let's uh, activate the second CompuMind, which again, they're all locked behind bosses here. So thanks for reactivating me, this may help you in your quest for Agathos. And we got another Stargate. And we actually get the uh, the max the maxi gun, I believe it is maximum gun. Uh, it's the strongest gun in the game, which <laughs> doesn't really mean much. <laughs> it really doesn't. <laughs> it, yeah, it does more damage. We're not really gonna do anything with that. <laughs> uh, so it it hits more, I guess, but uh, we're not really gonna be really killing enemies that we're just gonna be dodging them, avoiding them, and whatnot. So, we actually have the Stargate location to go to uh, Telos, which is actually the final level of the game. Um, and that's where Agathos is said to be hiding. I don't think I mentioned that or not. but uh, So, we can't actually go there yet because we don't have a uh, teleport location for Telos. We can just go to the planet. We can't actually land on it. So now that we're fully upgraded, remember this level that I told you we activated at the beginning of the game in part one? Well, it turns out if you go here first, uh, it it kicks your butt. <laughs> you get wrecked. Uh, so you do not want to come here early uh, in the game or you will get destroyed. Uh, and there's no reason to because you need the teleport beacon to move on anyway. So we're going to have these little fire guys that... Uh, we can just trap here, and now I don't have to deal with them. And the teleport beacon is what you need to actually progress in this level, so you need that to get through there. You can also, like, use it to glitch your way through a lot of this game, but also through this level, too. There's little spots you can use it. And then, here... <laughs> uh, I didn't find this out until I did my Let's Play, but uh, probably the most hidden secret of this game. I don't know if this is even intended or not. If we drop a teleport beacon right here and we stand here and use it, uh, it'll teleport us into a secret room which contains one of the hidden extra life uh, capsules of the game. I don't even really know what these are called. I just keep, I've just been calling them extra life. I don't know how you're supposed to know about that at all. And it also teleports you through quite a bit of the stage and leads you to the next one of these uh, extra life as well. So that's just devious, first off. Um, but you definitely want to get that. So I want to take out that stalactite there. Um, and I want to try and get over these guys. There we go. So that's probably the most annoying part of the level done right there. Uh, I mean, the level's definitely not over yet. We still have uh, these little guys that jump up at us. And we got these uh, little, I don't know, lava plumes. Let's spit out these enemies. I guess the Maxi Gun probably destroys these things faster, but not really a big deal. So. And if you shoot this guy, you'll notice he shoots out flames. Uh, keep that in mind for something we'll see later. But we kind of just have to zoom through this here. And you know, we just fought a boss? Well, guess what? Here's boss number three, right? Or boss number two of the video, but boss three. Uh, much like most of the bosses in this game, we can't do anything to them. So you kind of just have to hit them. And, well, you don't really hit them. You're just kind of luring them forward here. Another another puzzle boss. Like I said, this game's all puzzles. Um, you kind of... You, you might see what we're kind of going for here. Well, we fell in the pit and we died. So that's not what we were going for there. I guess we're going to have to off-screen and, and <laughs> see you back. All right, round two with the boss. Uh... So I died last time because I kind of did a little slip and slide. 
uh, getting near where we're supposed to take, we're escorting the boss over. We don't want him to stand around too long or he stops dropping like the ceiling on us. So we want to get him like right here and then we just want to start lighting him up. There we go. We can take him out with lava. Can't take him out with anything else. And there we go. We turn off this little geyser here. And we have beaten Volcania. There we go. And there's the last of the Compumines. There we are. React Thanks for reactivating me. I can help you on your quest for Agathos. Telos is located at that. This energy disc will help you get to Agathos. You will find Agathos hiding on Telos. Oh, maybe the game only told us now. All right, so you'll notice we have the last upgrade, the energy disc, but we are still missing one extra life uh, capsule. And that is not on Telos. It's back on Odar, which I mentioned. So we're going to off screen uh, to where we need to go to get that. So I'll meet you guys at Odar. Okay, we are at Odar, and I'm just going to take you right from the start of the level, just so you know where we're going here, and then we're going to wrap up, and next time, we're going to we're gonna be in the conclusion. We're going to be going to Telos, and we're going to be finding Agathos, stopping them once and for all. Now, thankfully, we don't have to do this puzzle again, so this actually doesn't take too long at all. Uh, from here, we can just use the energy disc, I want to say. So the energy disc is uh, Rad Gravity's up B if you were in Smash. Uh, it lets you just kind of float sideways uh, through the air. Uh, but it uses up two of your life. I guess that's why it's called the energy disc, because it consumes his life energy. I don't know. And also, just a heads up, there's some flashing tiles coming up. So uh, if, if you're sensitive, just let you know. I don't know how bad it is, but... There we go. We got all the life of the game. We got all, almost all of the power-ups. We still are missing one more. A little spoiler. One more. All right, and I wanted to meet you guys back here because next time we're going to be going through this final Stargate and we're going to be heading to Telos to take on Agathos. So thank you so much for watching. I've been Odin Spack. See you next time for the finale of Rad Gravity. Goodbye.